what can happen in the in the blue hole is because of the depth and like I say once you start getting to uh, below the recommended depths there's physiological that can affect your judgment as well as physically affect you I mean they can actually make you pass out the effect of nitrogen narcosis is it just as what they think is the uh, same effect as with alcohol so they will rather fall asleep or go into some kind of um, dream phase and just forget that they're diving and slowly fall asleep slowly you turn off the, the buttons oh, you want that buzz that you get from nitrogen is you know you probably heard of the martini effect it's very true 60 meters is like what three martinis take them down in a row one, two, three. That's 60 meters. Andrew Martin has come to Dahab to dive the Blue Hole. Inexperienced at diving to great depths, he's taking an extended range TDI class to learn the techniques of deep air diving. He hopes that this regimen of training and theory exams will prepare him for the deepest dive of his life. What do you think the best courses for me to do are if I want to dive through the arch? Basic nitrox and then what, what else? Uh, I, I guess you should be an entry level trimix. And by diving trimix, will it mean that I'm not as narked? Of course. You, you take off all, most of the nitrogen off, which is because you just narked. Yeah. So it means that you can actually remember your dives? Of course. And you can see them properly? What's the point of taking a risk, going somewhere and coming back? Yeah, Tariq, you went to New York, yes, do you remember something? No, no what's the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was drunk every for the whole day, time. Every day going to New York and coming back, do you remember? Nothing. What's the point? What's the point, yes. All scuba divers are susceptible to nitrogen narcosis, also called depth intoxication. Under its influence, a diver may make a fatal mistake. Individual reaction to nitrogen narcosis has a wide spectrum, and many divers start to feel its symptoms at a depth of only 40 meters. Scientists have been studying this complex reaction of the body to deep diving for more than a century. So far, scientists haven't been able to reach a final conclusion regarding the origins of nitrogen narcosis, and they haven't worked out how to prevent it. A large part of technical diving is understanding nitrogen narcosis and learning how to deal with it. A necessary step before experimenting with dives on mixed gases. According to TDI training standards, Andrew must complete a deep air extended range dive before he can progress to an entry level tri-mix course. At 60 meters, the arch will be stretching safety's limits. Is Andrew prepared to deal with the effects of nitrogen narcosis? I have memory loss. Like when we got to about 55, 60, I could really feel knocked. And then when we were passing under the arch, I had to keep on telling myself, I'm diving. I'm underwater, I'm 60, I'm diving. And then, I mean, I was drunk. Like the most ever underwater. And it didn't feel safe at all. Yeah, it's, 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 it's against the almost to the oxygen toxicity limit, 66 meters, so, um... Because yeah. I'm, I'm uh, <laughs> oh. right. you did good. The limit between 55, the maximum training depth, and 66 is the absolute limit on air, because then oxygen gets toxic, you see, so you have, and then you have much more carbon dioxide, in your body as well, so you have three gases being extremely toxic at this depth, all interacting in your body and messing up your, with your brain and your consciousness. And when you're at 60 meters down there, with tanks in your back breathing, you know, air, and you've got to have your wits about you because it's your life. 
and I'm not surprised. There are plaques on that wall. Luckily, I was I was fine, and I'm, I was fine. But you know, it can really go wrong.